beautiful outside. It's great overall. We had the cold front push on through overnight last night. So this is what's going on with the jet stream. I mentioned before, as that cold front moves and continues to surge to the southeast, it continues to weaken because it gets detached from that upper level low. You see it up there near the Great Lakes. So again, this cold front is many states long. As I put this into motion here, you'll notice what happens. Uh, that low just kind of sticks around. The cold front's still gonna be well off to the southeast. But then also we still have this high pressure on out to the west. Uh, often when we get these nice kind of seasonal cold fronts, it's not just this upper level low that's uh, playing a role, it's this high pressure out here. And that's what kind of gives that a, kind of a secondary surge of that cooler weather. Unfortunately, this is not a super strong high. And so that cool kind of surge only sticks around really for today, a little bit for tomorrow as well, uh, really tomorrow morning. And then by the afternoon hours, it's out of here. We go on the Wednesday, that high pressure really starts to move overhead. And you know what that means? Clear skies, warm weather, but we're not talking uh, the century mark, uh, thankfully, we're going to be still staying in the 90s, then that high pressure starts to diminish. We have another one that starts to build on in later on this week back to the southwest, and that's just going to slowly kind of make its way up towards the Four Corners region into uh, next weekend and the following week is what it looks like right now. That'll give us some of this northwesterly flow, but that unfortunately means that we're going to start to build back a little bit uh, more in terms of the summer kind of feel around here. So just kind of get ready for that overall because it's going to be cold and we're not doing our seven day planner here. So let's go fix that uh, because uh, that again, the cold front pushing on through is going to play a role, but I want to show you the extended outlooks because when we're talking temperatures, uh, we're talking it's going to be hot outside. So this is for the week of the 17th to the 20. Uh, third, we're talking about warmer than normal conditions here. And you see our average high is 85 to 83 degrees. Then we're talking about precipitation outlook, maybe near normal across the Tulsa area, but really just a stretch of drier than normal weather for a good portion of the country as the jet stream continues to kind of push back on off to the north. And so that's the unfortunate part is we're not looking at a decent rain amount or decent rain chances here for a while, at least probably the next 10 to 14 days here. So water vapor, water vapor imagery, there's the cold front, drier air behind it in the mid levels. And that's why we're starting to see those clouds clear on out of here. You got to have moisture for clouds. Temperatures across the state right now, 60s, 50s, even still some 40s on up to the northwest. Alvin Buffalo coming in at 49 degrees. Not much of a wind chill, which is the good news as well. We are still in summer after all. Then we go into this afternoon, we warm up to near 80 degrees. Uh, we could have a few lower 80s, 81, 82 degrees, but right near 80. And you're going to your Monday morning. It's going to be a little chilly outside. Temperatures in the 50s and there'll be some 40s out there. I can almost be certain of that. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we're up in the mid 80s. So again, that cool weather sticks around just a little while longer. Then we go into your Tuesday morning. We're up in the 60s and upper 50s. And then by Tuesday afternoon, we start to kind of surge back up into the lower 90s across the area. We'll have some mid 90s across the southwest. Could have a few spotty showers across southwest Oklahoma. I don't think that those are going to reach us here in northeast Oklahoma, which is a little unfortunate. Your temperature trend. Oh, here we go again. Monday right near average, but then by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on into the next weekend. Again, we're going to start to kind of increase uh, that temperature trend. You see our average between this time period is 87 to 84 degrees. And so we're talking about being back up into the 90s and it looks like by next week and even the following week, we could be on up into the mid to even maybe a few upper 90s going into next week. So uh, we're definitely going to start to feel the effects of summer around. And as well with the drought, of course, you know that the worst drought is south of I-40 right now. The entire state's in a drought, but the worst of it's south of I-40. And they're not looking to pick up any rain over the next seven days. Really, the entire area is going to be on up to the north. So that's the unfortunate part here. So as we extend your seven-day planner out, temperatures in the 80s for today and tomorrow or up in the 90s for Tuesday, Wednesday, on to next weekend. There's your seven-day planner.